what we wanted to, uh, to do was try to uh, understand what lessons we can get from uh, epidemiolo uh, epidemiology and epidemiological modeling. So I'll, I'll just talk about what we did first and then what we learned from that. Um, so we wanted to understand what a pandemic is, how it, how it works, what epidemiological models exist and what they'd be useful for. Um, and most importantly, what we don't know as well as what we know. Um, and to this end, we worked with, uh, and we reached out to Professor Mark Lipsitch and, uh, and group at the School of Public Health, who are very generous with their time and, um, and helped us uh, understand what these models were. Um, and we tried to gather as much information as possible from other epidemiologists as well, uh, including um, you know, Dr. Allison Hill uh, uh, at uh, Johns Hopkins. And we used uh, various existing models that were out there as well as built our own custom models um, to try and simulate all the, uh, uh, all the possible policy scenarios or various relevant policy scenarios and understand how various parameters uh, and, uh, and phenomena uh, in society would affect these parameters. Um, I, I, and uh, and try to see um, uh, what would be most relevant to uh, to the to governments that we were working with. So um, we uh, tried to act as a bridge between the epidemi epidemiologists and the lessons from the epidemiology and and uh, several governments. So very either directly or indirectly, we worked. Um, uh, uh, we tried to pass along these messages to to governments uh, of Albania, Ethiopia, El Salvador, um, and several others. Um, and um, and and to and to go on to what we learned from um, uh, uh, from all this work, the primary thing we learned was that there was a lot of uncertainty involved. Um, but uh, these models, even though they are not accurate, uh, were very useful as tools that could help contrast for policy scenarios. Um, we understood what the uh, parameters, such as the reproduction number uh, and how uh, targeting. Uh, uh, these uh, these parameters would uh, would be important, and uh, I think one of the most important lessons um, to me uh, uh, was that uh, you know the lack of uh, there was a lack of nuance in public messaging. So according to the models, we learned that a complete return to normal after a lockdown would not flatten the peak and would just uh, buy us time for the healthcare system, um, and uh, and that the pandemic was uh, something that would go on for an extended period of time. And the economic uh, impacts from the pandemic would also go on for for, for uh, potentially years from um, uh, uh, from now, and that was uh, very far from uh, uh, what the policymakers that we were working with very often um, uh, started with their assumptions from. And so, uh, um, and uh, we uh, we also learned that uh, uh, low cost interventions were were critical, and we tried to spread that message around as well.